How's it going YouTube? Today we're going to be reviewing the Armshark Nautilus V2. So let's get right into it. So first of all, materials. The Armshark Nautilus V2 comes in either carbon fiber or G10 scales. This little part here that isn't the carbon fiber is made of 7075 aluminum and the blade is stainless steel. Also got their logo there on the blade as well as the steel type. So yeah, this thing's pretty interesting. Um, the price is really good being at $65 for this version, the G10 version, and it can go all the way up to $100 depending on if you get the anodized version or the version with the carbon fiber scales. For the sake of this video, all of my opinions will be on the G10 version as that is what I have. But yeah, I think for the $65 price point, this thing is amazing. Flipping wise, this thing is super light. One of my lightest ballast songs that I currently own and generally just a freaking fantastic flipper. Overall, when flipping, it kind of feels like this ballast song is longer than what I'm used to with other knives. But you might think that is a bad thing, but me personally, I quite like it. It's pretty comparable to like a Slift T or a Prisma in lengthwise. When it comes to weight, it is only 100 grams, which is I think the lightest ballast song in my collection besides my uh, Squiddy B, which is saying a lot considering this thing is aluminum and stainless steel. It's kind of insane how light this thing is. When you first open it up, this is the package it comes in, quite nice. Got their little Arm Shark logo. And when you open it up, it comes with a little pouch, some thread locker, some spare hardware. Something I really like about this too is it comes with a screwdriver in case you don't have your own. And yeah, just overall, it's a pretty solid overall package, especially for someone who's new to ballast songs. One thing that also comes with it is this little arm shark bite handle indicator, which is super cool. But yeah, right off the box, it comes with a lot of value, as you can see. When it comes to balance, I'd personally say this thing is quite neutral. Others might say it's more handle bias, which it's kind of more of a preference thing. For me, this has quickly become one of my favorite flippers I currently own which is saying a lot as I have quite a big collection. It's kind of tied for first right now with my Volt Pro, which is kind of crazy because this thing is half the price of the Volt Pro. I think truly the Armshark Nautilus V2 cologne is kind of insane. I can go ahead and give you a little sound test for it. So yeah, it's pretty nice sounding. It doesn't come lubed or with lube, so if you have your own lube, that would be greatly beneficial. I've also heard people say that the handles come quite a bit tighter than they're supposed to, but since it's on bushings, it's not really been a problem for me. Just something to keep in mind. Real quick, some of the problems I have with it. Um, it's just kind of one of my problems with G10 in general. It's really loud when you touch it, for example. Other than that, the fact that it runs on tang pins isn't the greatest as they are prone to getting damaged and falling out over time. It's a problem I've had with bow songs in the past, but I haven't really heard anyone talk about their tang pins falling out on the Nautilus, so hopefully it's all right, you know? But just something to keep in mind. One thing I really like too is that the blade has this little indicator for when you're doing a rollover on the bite handle. And that's really nice because sometimes you don't really know if you're using the right handle, but this thing lets you know. It's not painful or anything, but you can definitely tell it's the wrong handle. I've also dropped this thing on the floor quite a lot on hard surfaces surfaces and it hasn't really gotten too much damage only a little bit on the bottom here you can't really even tell right there a little bit of damage but yeah this thing's kind of a beast just because it is so light lighter ballast songs it's harder to damage them it's also a channel design which makes it more durable in the long run definitely something i appreciate in a ballast song real quick i forgot to mention this thing has great grip because of the g10 plus this milled out handle section provides for a lot of grip as your thumb will just really get into those holes on the back of these handles there's not too much grip as it is channel but the jimping is pretty nice the jimping doesn't go through the g10 which is a small problem but it's still quite effective overall i think if you're wanting to buy a ballast song with G10, this is one of the best options available at the moment. And it's also got quite a lot of color options and customizability options with the carbon fiber scales. Overall, I'd give it probably an 8.5. It would be higher, but me personally, the sound isn't my favorite. It could definitely be a little better. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Like, comment, subscribe, see you.